Morning! <laughs> Welcome to sunny meat smoke fire. A <laughs> um, little bit damp this morning. Uh, we've got the brolly up, so we're all right for a little bit. Um, we're going to do a whole load of different cooks today. Uh, and hopefully it's going to ease in about 15 minutes. That's what the weather thing's saying. So we'll get rid of the coats and we'll do whatever. So thank you for joining us. Um, hopefully Helena's on and I'll show you a little bit about the setup. So um, yeah, let me take this. On camera today, special guest visitor, <laughs> Andy, she's back. Morning. She's popped to see us. So uh, yeah, good. So Andy's on the camera. She brought the weather with her. Um, what you'll see on the table is we're missing Helena. She's hidden inside, look. That's rubbish. <laughs> Absolutely rubbish. Her mama's with her. And then special guest star today, Pickle, <laughs> Lexi. So Lexi's going to do one of the cooks with me. So um, let us know if you can't hear us because of the rain. Let us know if um, you can't, if it, the, we get rain on the lens. So what we're going to do, try and do today, four cooks, something like that. So we're going to do, um, Lexi is going to do a dessert. Um, we've not done it before. <laughs> God, it's getting worse. It could be a disaster. It could be a disaster anyway because of the weather. Um, Andy will just swivel a bit. We'll probably do less looking in the eggs than we normally do uh, because it is absolutely lashing it. <laughs> so Lexi's going to do it. She's just under the corner of the umbrella. She'll do our dessert. So we're going to do a chocolate dessert because she is a chocolate. Um, I promised you chicken lollipops. So I will show you how to do those. We're going to make the barbecue sauce. Oh, it's easy. We're going to make the barbecue sauce. Uh, so we'll get on, straight on with that. Um, really easy. And then after we've made the barbecue sauce, I'll show you how to prep the lollipops. We are going to do some sweet potato uh, we've got here. And we're just going to roast that and we're going to do that in a rotisserie. Oh, look at that, the bowl is full of water. Uh, uh, and then after that, the last thing we're going to do is some squid rings. So two appetizers almost. So the sweet potato and the squid that we can dip in an aioli. Uh, and then we've got some chicken wing or chicken drumsticks for main and then a chocolate for dessert. Uh, we nearly did tart to tan, Andy, if you're on. Andrew Lawrence. Um, but anyway, we didn't. We're doing Lexi's chocolate. Picked it out of a recipe book, uh, a Bill Granger one. Right, let's get going. We've got a lot to, to, to cover. Okay. It's top it is. Right, so um, I'm going to make the barbecue sauce quickly. There's my cloth to clean the lens if we get dirty. Um, I've just got some olive oil in there and all I'm going to add to it, I need a wooden spoon, is a bit of garlic and I'm going to fry that off a, minute, a little bit. So. I'm going to pop this in that mini max over there and we'll fry it off. So remind me in three minutes Lexi to go and have a look at that. So while that is doing its business, I'm going to, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. So while that's doing that, what I'll do, um, I've forgotten to get the chicken legs out of the fridge. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to get the chicken, th uh, chicken legs out. I'm just going to show you how to prep those. So I've got a nice sharp knife here and I'll show you how they're done. Uh, we have somewhere under here, sorry, everything's covered in cling film. I have a rub. So um, we made this this morning. So um, some brown sugar, some chili powder, some salt, some pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder. The recipe's on the website, but we've got a rub. Um, so we're going to use that. We have some chicken pieces here. I'll put that out of the way, that can be my bin. So um, normally you'd cook a drumstick like that. But what we're going to do is cut around here and take the top off and then what that allows the meat to do is retract and it forms a ball and becomes a lollipop and you get a handle. So all I'm going to do, and you've got to be careful when you're doing this, is just cut around the top and what you're trying to do is cut the tendons. So you can see, can we see here, there's a tendon there. So I'm going to turn the knife the other way up. Yeah. Um, so we just cut around the top. Listen to that, it's actually stopping. And then you can get your thumb, can you see that's the joint? You can get your thumb under the top and a bit of a twist and the top comes off. Okay, and then you can just push the chicken down a little bit like that. And when it cooks, that bone will start to stick out. So I'll do one more. So we're just going to cut around the top. Oh, that one's broken. So um, good job we did the first one. The bone is broken. So. 
not a great example, but I'll just take the top pole top off. I've got another of those in this pack, but you can see the bone's going to stick out and that will become a lollipop. Okay. So what we're going to do with these, I'm going to waste the rest of this rub because it's get, got damp anyway. But with these, we're just going to, uh, normally I sprinkle it over, but I'm just going to chuck them in because we haven't got spare plates. Get a nice bit of rub on them like that. And I'm going to go and put these on this egg over here. Now what you'll see, and you can look at that and it's stopping. Mm-hmm. Whoop, whoop. Is we've already got some on there. So I'll keep these ones separate so we know which ones they are. Um, I've already got some on there because I want them to, uh, to, to be cooked during the show. So they've all, already been on for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, so you can see how far they've got. And you can see the, the bone starting to pull, or the chicken starting to pull back. Uh, there's the other broken one, um, but they'll look fine. Right, I'm going to give my hands a little wash, sacrifice that rub. And I'll wipe that forward for a second. So, uh, feel free to ask questions, as usual. I'll right. we'll put that under there so it stays dry. Um, Helena will see the questions and can respond. Um, feel free to ask Andrea why she bought such nasty weather with her. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this one. <laughs> you mean you didn't sign I'm, up? I'm a fair weather camera person. Yay. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of a clean because we're going to reuse it. It's only going to have squid on so it will be cooked stuff we're going to use it for. Okay. So how long's that been pickled? Three minutes? Three minutes. Oh, you didn't tell me. Right, let's go and have a quick look, Andrea. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's um, cooking nicely. So our garlic in there is cooking down, just seasoning. So what we can do is bring this back and put the rest of the ingredients on and we'll carry on using this mini max. Um, so I'll put this on the board. So a really simple but super tasty sauce, ketchup. Uh, that is a cup, as the Americans would call it, ketchup. Um, you can get a measure. I'll put the milliliters on there as well. Um, so it's about 250 maybe, I don't know, maybe a bit more than that. A cup of ketchup, a quarter of a cup um, brown sugar, so that goes in. A quarter of a cup water going in. A quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Um, this is a cloudy one that ca uh, came from Sainsbury's, we'll get that in there. Uh, we have a teaspoon of chilli powder. If you want to go hot, you can put more than that in. We're keeping it not too hot because somebody doesn't like it hot, right? Pickle. I always call it pickle. I'm the only one. The name's Lexi. Um, and then we'll get some... Uh, that's paprika, smoked paprika. So we'll get that in there. Give it a stir. Can you see that, Andy? I want to get in, have a little look. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of salt, you might uh, make, make it slightly darker. You could add a little bit of soy sauce. Um, but for us, that's fine. It's a bit runny at the mo, but that's because we haven't yet boiled it down. So I'm going to pop it back over there. And then, put, leave the spoon there. I'm going to turn it down a bit because I don't want it too hot. So I reckon about 160, something like that. We'll come and keep coming and have a look at it. Right. Yes. Would a second skillet sit on top of the first one to create a lid? Um, yeah, it's going to be, look, I've got one here. Because we're going to cook in a skillet in a second. We'll be cooking in this one. Um, but yes, that would sit over the top and form a lid. But I don't need a lid on this one. So, but yeah, that will work perfectly. Put that one the right way up. Leave that to boil. So yes, second skillet would form a lid. Right. We're going to get on to the sweet potato. This is so easy. That's why we've got four recipes today. Got a bowl full of water. <laughs> Sweet potato, all I've done is chop them up into pretty big chunks. Um, I'm going to take some olive oil, 
put it over the top just to make them a bit sticky i'm going to nick a spoon just give them a spoon so it's, they're all covered and i'm going to put some mold and salt on them so don't worry if that looks like a lot of salt it's going to fall off because um, these are going to go in a rotisserie so um, rather than cooking them in a pan or baking them we're going to have a go at rotisserieing them if that's a word so let's get these into the basket i'm going to put a lid on it so what i've got here is uh, just a skewer that goes through a, a specially designed basket that sits on there i've got a second one here because somebody over there likes popcorn and i found out that the holes on this are too big for popcorn but the holes on this aren't so this will be doing popcorn tonight so somebody's happy <laughs> Uh, we're going to pop that open I've, you can see here i've got my, the rotisserie ring in there it sits at a wedge shape so that the lid shuts down on it so it, sit, it fits perfectly and we're going to pop that in it goes straight into the motor on that end like that and then you can turn the motor on uh, they're waterproof i left it out last night in the rain so they work perfectly well and that's just going to go like that and i want this to be about 180 it's a little bit warm at the most so i'm going to turn it down um, but they'll just tumble around so we'll come back to those a bit later so i'm going to turn it down a bit um, what you have to do with the rotisserie is just turn it down a little bit more on the settings than you normally would because there's a bit of air escaping out of either side um, so it just means you're controlling it that way you're just shutting it a little bit more those are just going to tumble around for 20 or 30 minutes it'll knock the corners off so we'll lose a bit of that sweet potato but it will go lovely and uh, it'll bake it and then it'll go um, crispy on the outside it's delicious we had it the other day we're going to have it as a dip so perfect right whose turn is it you're up pickle right so i'm just going to grab this so come over here lexi tell people what we've got in there and you've got to be loud so they can hear you what um, is it butter and chocolate do you know how much uh lots of chocolate yeah yeah lots of chocolate so basically 200 grams or 300 grams we're gonna um we'll put the recipe up but we're gonna just melt this aren't we yeah yeah so we need a spoon to stir it we'll take a clean one yeah now you come right back here stand and face andy what we've got in this egg i'm going to open it slowly is we have a pan with water in it so can you pop that bowl shall i do it because it's hot we'll pop it on there so we've got water just bubbling underneath and it's going to start to melt this so we'll pull this shut and leave it for a few minutes and what's going to happen is it's going to melt that chocolate isn't it yeah and you're going to stir it yeah so i think we might get you a glove in a minute so you can hold the top of that pan when you stir it yeah yeah all right cool and then what are we going to do with it what are our other ingredients can we get those ready yeah, yeah? right let's go over So this is Lexi belongs to Sarah who's probably hung over again. Is she hung over today? No, no hangovers. No hangovers. Oh, so, oh, Steve. oh Steve, Steve's just joined uh, from Histon, he's probably hung over. So um, Lexi belongs to, to Sarah who's not here. You haven't seen Sarah on camera I don't think. So, um, but yeah, right, what do we need in our bowl? We've got a bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Where are all the other ingredients? They're straight in your head. Oh, Sick. So, go. There you go. What else have we got? Egg. What's that? How many eggs was that? Uh, three. Good girl. Three. So does that go in? Put chocolate in there. Is that for me? Go. Put <laughs> that in there. So chocolate. Uh, so three whisked eggs goes in. <laughs> Perfect. We we'll get that out of the way. What else have we got? Um, sugar. You weighed it, how much did you weigh? 115 grams. Perfect. And what did we learn about water today? That you have to keep it on a flat surface. Yeah. So that you can actually see the measurement. So when you're measuring water, you don't hold the jug up like that, because you could tilt it. Right, what else did we learn about water? How much does, a, how much does water weigh? One milliliter of water weighs one, one gram. gram. Come on, you've got this. 
Right, what's in there? Uh, flour. Right. How many tablespoons? Two. Two, perfect. Get that in there. Right. I take it we need to mix that up. Yeah. We're going to use that again for the chocolate, so let's get you a spoon. Sorry, Andy. No, you're grand. So give that a good mix. Oh, that's looking nice. Yeah, keep going. Get all that stuff down. Lovely. Try the go. Yeah. Get it going a bit faster. Oh, that's no good. Everyone's had a quiet night. No hangovers. Right, perfect. Let's go and see how our Oh yeah, we'll take a glove. Good plan. Okay, okay, okay. It's alright Andy. We'll take a couple over. Good. Right. You put your hand in that one. Put that up. Which hand are you going to stir with? This one. You sure? Yeah. Alright. Right. I'll take it out so Andy can see it and you can stir. It, give it a good stir in. See it, we'll put it on for a bit more. That chop, dark chocolate hasn't melted yet, so we'll get that on. You can put that on the table, that'd be fine. But let's okay. do it so it hangs it'll, over the edge. It'll How's wash that? itself out here at the moment. Yeah. Well, I think the spray will stop. Glove on the side. Perfect. Right. So we're good. So we have. I think you can sit down for two minutes, pickle. And then we'll. Just gonna take this coat off, risk it for a biscuit. There you go, summary look. <laughs> so any questions, Helena? Uh, no, right. Oh, it's looking good. We'll get that there. So I'll put that out of the way for a second. Right, let's go and have a look at our barbecue sauce. So <laughs> that one's had butter on, it's that one is now. Ooh, bubbling away nicely. Oh no, it's next to you, look. <laughs> oh yeah, well I've got another spoon now. <laughs> it's hot in there. Ooh. So again, using T. Fallon Genio, love these things. So, I'll leave that for a little bit more. Now I've got two here. That one, I need to wash one, because I'm going to put the squid with one. So just give it a little wipe. Right, so, so far, we've got a barbecue sauce cooking. I've showed you how to chop the ends of the chicken off and then just peel them back with your thumb. If you can't do it, do it very carefully with a knife, but very carefully, uh, or just cut round and hope that it shrinks back. But what you need to cut, do is those tendons. So if you can see them, you can always do them with some scissors. You can always leave the top on. It just looks better with it off. Um, so we've put those chicken thighs on there, uh, two drumsticks, sorry. A uh, bit of rub on there, and then we're going to add some barbecue sauce on them that will make them really sticky, so that's what that's for. Um, we put our chocolate on, and that's melting. I'm going to get pickle to give it a stir in a minute, because we don't want to overcook it, do we? No. Yeah, so we'll do that. And then the last thing we're going to cook for you is some squid, um, so that we can have that at the end. So let's go and uh, do another stir. A glove on so you can hold it. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. I reckon. Are there any lumps in it? Yeah, there's butter in this. Okay, bit. shall I give it a quick stir? That's alright. Oh, I think that's melted now. Look at that. Perfect. I reckon that's good pickle. Right, I'm going to take the water off. So that was just a water bath to stop it burning. So we'll take that off, put that on the side. And then we're going to put, this is set um, at 200 degrees. Um, and we're using a uh, Egg Genius this morning just to hold it at 200 degrees. Um, but we're going to take this over. So I'll grab this, shall I? Right, let's go. And this has to go, do I need to let it cool a bit? Probably. 
So let's let it cool a little bit before it goes in there. Now who's going to stir it and who's going to pour it? Okay, so let's get our spoon out. So, shall we, do you want to pour it in and I'll, I'll stir? Oh, I'll do it the other way around. You stir. So hold the bowl and stir. Come on, keep going, fast. Oh, nice. Keep going. Oh, is it smelling good? Yeah. Oh, delicious. But you're really good. You never want to uh, to taste it, do you? You don't lick the spoon or anything like that. No? <laughs> oh, is that a yes? That's yeah. such a good oh. chocolate smell. I'm going to get this, this glove really dirty. That doesn't matter. They go in the washing machine. That's why I love these gloves. Right, nearly there. Yeah? yeah, I think you're good. Right, so how many do we think this is going to make? Six. <laughs> so here are our six. So what have you done to these? Um, greased them with butter. Right, so I'll take this out for a sec. And then we'll use this to put it in there. Do you reckon you can spoon it in? Um, or shall I do it? Okay, yeah, I think I'm better. We can come back and top it up, can't we? Yeah. It's a lot easier than taking too much out. Oh. No, I don't think you're going to like these pickle. <laughs> no? Yeah. And <laughs> yes. Ooh, might have done this about right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting wafts of that chocolate coming over, Lexi. Oh. oh, that's looking nice. Any questions, Helena? Um, Any licking the lips going on? I don't know if there's an emoji for that. I'm sure there is. Um, where are <laughs> Where are the gloves from? They're from Amazon. Um, they are, uh, if you look on my website, there is a section under technique or something like that, it's called at the top right. And it's called Barbecue Essentials. I think I'll leave that over there. Don't know what might happen to that. Yeah? Yeah. Right, <laughs> can you grab two? Oh, you want them on the tray as well? Okay. I'm going to use a tray apparently. Right, should we have a look at these before they go in? Yeah, let's put them fairly close. They're not going into a water bath. I'll put one in the middle. How's that? Yeah. And we'll make them look like a flower around the outside. Yeah? Mm. So open it gently, going in. I'm going to just turn it. I just want to keep it away from the thermometer. Um, but they're all over the stone. So those are going in and they're about 15 minutes. They're not the tidiest, but they're not bad. Okay. So set the timer for 15 minutes. Helena can do it, it's not, it's not even on. Oh, she's done it. What can I smell? Oh, sauce. sauce. Right. Huh? Oh, she's been caught. <laughs> oh, oh she, she had it already. Yeah, how much is there? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's happy. Right, I'm just going to, um, I'll take that pan out. I'm just going to put this one back in to warm up and turn my egg up a little bit. I know what I haven't got is my basting brush. I need to go and grab that. <laughs> when As you say runs. you... Yeah, Helena runs. Off she goes. Right, we're going to go over here and I'm going to start mm -hmm. baking. But while we're waiting, just can't get a start off. Oh. So they're just tumbling around. Now, if you wanted to put some rub or something on them, you could. You could just sprinkle it on. 
Uh, you can just sprinkle a bit of, um, we, we did some cauliflower in here the other night and we um, dripped on Frank's hot sauce and it was delicious. But if you look at them, you can see all the edges are starting to, um, to round off. It's just knocking off a little bit of edge, but, um, but they'll take a little while, but they'll be delicious. Right. So, uh, I'm looking for my tongs, one second. So, oh, they're looking lush. <laughs> Is she still eating? Oh, that's it, we've lost her. <laughs> so I'm just gonna probe and show you where these are at. So they're up over 75, so they're almost cooked already. Uh, that one's 80, so they're nearly ready. So what we wanna do now is put the barbecue sauce on at this point. If you put the bar barbecue sauce on at the beginning, all that's gonna happen um, is it will burn. Um, so I saw the other day somebody, um, I'm just going to shut the bottom door a little bit, um, just because I can feel the heat. I, I saw somebody the other day um, who'd done ribs and they were um, basically burnt, saying, oh, I've had a disaster with the ribs, they burnt them. Um, and it's because they put the barbecue sauce on at the beginning of the cook, so they'd done six hours with barbecue sauce on. And what happens is the sugars in the barbecue sauce and the tomatoes, which are full of sugar. Um, I'm going to give that a couple of minutes and I'll flip them that again. Nice. Um, but the sugars mm. in, the, in the barbecue sauce burns and you just go flat. So always, you, if you're going to use barbecue sauce with anything, always right at the end of the cook. Uh, and what I'm going to do is turn it down a bit because I want to lower that heat uh, and turn it down. Yeah, somebody is scraping like mad <laughs> over there. All down the uh, <laughs> So good on her. <laughs> she's she covered in it yet. <laughs> get it on her face. Yeah, let's have a look, Lex. <laughs> oh, aunties are going to be in trouble for this. Yeah, we got in trouble last night. Uh. Can't go there. Right, I'm just going to move this out of the way a little bit. Uh. Okay, so the barbecue sauce was, I'm just going to move those out of the way. Um, Three tablespoons, it's all, all on the website. The, the recipe is already on the website. So if you go into the Saturday Night Live piece or the live cook piece on the top left, I'm doing that, it's on that side for you. Um, the recipe's up there, but it is three tablespoons of olive oil, two cloves of garlic crushed, then infused in that oil for a little bit. So we cooked it, cup of um, ketchup, quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar or, or cider vinegar, a uh, quarter of a cup of water, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. Um, yeah, it keeps turning off the screen, Andy. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know why, I did it for me last week, so okay. just keep tapping it. A yeah. uh, quarter of a cup of brown sugar, uh, some chilli powder, so I put a teaspoon in there, and some smoked paprika, paprika, I put two teaspoons of that. So I think that's that. And cook them all together, and that makes a most wonderful barbecue sauce. If you want it a bit more salty, put some soy sauce in it, about a tablespoon of soy sauce. There's going to be nothing left of that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's prep the last bit. I'm just going to wipe this clean. So while that heats up, um, oh, I've messed it up. Lexi had set this up beautifully so you could see all the ingredients. It did but, look really pretty. Yeah, but um, unfortunately when I wrapped it again, um, I messed it up. But, and it, she learned another lesson today. So let's with this one, we'll go for it. So, we have, this is gonna go on the outside of the squid. So we've got five tablespoons of uh, plain flour. We have, how many teaspoons made a tablespoon? Um, three. Three. So three teaspoons of black um, uh, pepper, three teaspoons of mold and salt. And all I'm gonna do with those is just mix them together. Um, but yeah, so a teaspoon it, uh, three teaspoons is a tablespoon. So if you've only got a tablespoon, this is perfect for you. So we've got those all mixed up. And now I have some, and this works really well with smaller squid, but I've got the big squid that we've had before, and I'm just gonna cut it into rings. So cut across it. Um, if you buy them not cleaned out, what you'll find is there's like a, a, a quill almost inside them. So put your finger in, you'll feel it. It feels like plastic, you can pull it out, but these are these are already cleaned and we're going to chop these into like five millimeter thick uh, uh, rings uh, like that which 
looks lovely. And what I need to do first is go and put some oil in that pan so it can give it a chance to heat up. So let me just do these. If you're cutting, tuck your fingers under. Then I see too many people doing that and you're gonna chop the ends of your fingers off. Cut your fing tuck your fingers <laughs> under and then you can run the knife against your fingers um, and you won't cut yourself. So um, yeah, make sure they're tucked under. Or go and do a knife skills course, it's really worthwhile. Um, so let me just wipe my hands a little bit. I'm not gonna use that on the camera now. Um, I'm gonna steal the olive oil. I'm going to go and heat some up on that egg over here, Andy. Sorry. No, nope, it's fine. Out of practice, clearly. Yeah, I'll get some oil in there. Quite a lot. I need this to get going, so I'm going to open it up uh, and let that get warm before we put the squid in. Okay, pop that up in the top. There we go. So, go back over mm -hmm. to our chicken. So I'm keeping them moving today because uh, now the rain stopped. It's beautiful. Right. So look at those, they look lush. Um, I'm going to turn them all over and then we're going to paint the back of them. Um, the reason they weren't all, they were around the edges was because, whoops, I'm letting the skin off that one, um, was because I was going to make the sauce on here but so that's the only reason so you can go in the middle and get some sauce on these oh these are gonna be nice so any questions Helena so this egg is set about 180. I've got it indirect, so there is a plate setter in there or convector in there, just to protect them a bit. That one's got burnt because it was hanging over the edge. So it just goes to show you, where the three bits come up, if you leave a bit of chicken hanging over the edge of it, where the heat comes up, it will burn because that's where the hot bit comes. So they're looking lush. Mm. So we're gonna give those another two or three minutes. How long left on our desserts, Helena? Okay, right, let's have another look at those. And then while that's heating up, and this is all gonna to come together perfectly. One watch. Well, they could probably do with a bit more, but you can see crisping up on the outside. Be cooking in the middle. You could cut, cook them, uh, cut them a little bit smaller. Um, I might just get a little bit more oil. And the beauty of these is you can just do it through the basket. You'll get a bit of flame, a bit of smoke. Just cl close the lid. Done. Right, um, let's get this squid. So I'm gonna take, do it a little bit of time. This gets messy. So we'll go in with the squid, just coat it. Okay. And we're gonna go over. Uh, what I will do, I'll bring a plate to put it onto. because this doesn't take long to cook. Let's see if it's hot enough yet. Oh yeah. Whoops, don't do it towards you like that because you will burn yourself, you'll catch it. Um, I'm just gonna shut that, get a pair of tongs, so stay there Andy. Now this cooks so quickly. So flip them over. You don't want to overcook it because it will go rubbery. Mm. I'm gonna say that is done. Is that quick? Yeah, that is quick. And I'm gonna go and get some more and you just do it in batches. So shut the lid. Get a little bit more with my top there. The basket for the rotisserie. 
Um, I have linked it, if you go to the rotisserie on my website, um, it's linked, it's Amazon, there are two there. The black one is, um, yeah, uh, the black one is a charbroil one. Um, it's got a finer mesh. Um, but what I really like about the silver one is that it's stainless steel, so it can go straight in the dishwasher. So we have put that through the dishwasher probably five or six times while we've been practicing with it. We've only had the rotisserie a while, a week or so. While those are cooking, I'll leave that open, you can have mm. a look. Um, so yeah, they're both, uh, I'll relink the charbroil one. Okay, question, what size cast iron pan should you get for the large vickery neck? Um, that's a tricky one. This is the mini cast iron skillet, this one here. Um, and I use, it, uses, it fits the mini max, but it also fits in the large. And I probably use it more than I use the large cast iron skillet. So it all depends on what you want to use it for. But I probably use this more than I use the large one. So, um, you can start with the smaller one. I'm going to take those out. I should have probably put a bit of kitchen roll underneath to, to drain them on. Um, but they're going to be delish. Um, so I'll put the last batch in. And then I'll give myself a nice... The is up. Oh, the timer's up. And your face is covered <laughs> in chocolate. Right, give it a wipe. I'll put a your mum's watching. We have responsibilities. Oh. I'm going to put the last lot in a big batch, but I'll work that out in a minute and research just, just for time. So that'll be fine. They smell so good. I love these. Mm. Well, right, I'm going to pull that shut for a yeah. minute. Just wash my hands. We'll go and have a look at the cake. I, I did it for about 10 cakes. Don't lift it up yet, pickle. And are we having them wobbly? Yeah. Oh, the edges are almost set. I'm going to say another three or four minutes. What do yeah. you think? Yeah. You've got chocolate on your coat. Oh no. You are going to get me in trouble. <laughs> right, let's get these out. Right. Flip them. I'll do them all in one go. Oh, look. Mm. I'm so going to eat that. <laughs> You're going to eat that. I know, That's but fun. I'm like now. Oh, well, yeah, you can wait a bit. Yeah. Um, if you don't like seafood, uh, sorry, you could do this with onion rings, though. It'd work perfectly with onion rings. In fact, I have a product coming today which is um, basically ground up um, pork skin crackling and um, you could put that on onion rings and then fry them like this and it will puff up and make them really crunchy on the outside mm. so I'll try that this week and maybe we'll do that one of these because that's really quick and easy but that would be a great cook right I'm gonna say they are done So, this is one of my favourite uh, tapasi style. I'm going to turn this off, I'll leave that pan in there. Turn it off, put this on the table. Um, move a few of these things out of the way so you can see what it's going to look like. So we have some squid in here. I've made some aioli. I'll put the recipe up for that, but that is just um, an olive oil. I um, cook some... Um, three cloves of garlic in a little bit of olive oil. Uh, and then I took that olive oil out, out um, and whisked one egg yolk um, with a little bit of salt. And then you pour the egg, you pour the oil in gently and whisk, keep whisking, it makes lovely mayonnaise or aioli. Uh, temperature for the squid? Uh, squid was about 180 to 200, the temperature. Someone had asked, does the mini max get up to temperature bigger than the 
So the Mini Max will get up to temperature a little bit faster than large, but you need to keep them clean. Um, they'll all get to 180 quite happily in 15 minutes. So, okay, right, and I need a plate to go and grab. Proof that Lexi's tidied up. Yeah. Just so we can redeem ourselves with your mum. <laughs> right, I'm going to put this. Let's be cheeky on this. We'll put some barbecue sauce on the outsides. They were all cooked before. I started putting barbecue sauce on, so I've got no issue with putting cold barbecue sauce on them. Um, or not that cold, but, um, and then serving. I'm gonna flip them over so we can get it on the other side as well. Ooh, can you see that one's gone slightly black on the outside because of those sugars. You've got to be really careful. So we'll get um, sauce on the other side. That's looking lush. And the only thing that hasn't cooked fast enough is, in fact, let me just check those last two. There's that one. It's well over 80 degrees, over 80 degrees. You want 75 is, uh, 74 is where you need to be. These are all well over 80, so. Um, I'm going to put them all on a plate. Okay. Now, let's keep all the, the bones sticking outwards, it says, because then we can pick them up without getting too dirty. It says, I'm not ambidextrous, let's do that. Nick, the timer's just gone off. Okay, perfect. Right, shut those down. Look at those. Lush. They're going to be nice for lunch, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. put those over here. Get rid of that <clears> plate <throat> out of the way. Stick it over. Right, pickle. We're ready. Yeah. Obviously you've eaten all yours, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they're definitely ready. So you can see, if I wobble them, the middle's still moving, but the edges are still uh, a set. So oh. we're going to call those. They're going to be gooey in the middle. Good. Uh, I might actually get a second glove just in case. Yes. Right, so let me show you that. The question is, what setup have we got in here? If I take these off, all oh, those are going to be really gooey. I've got a baking stone on here. Really hard to get hold of at the moment, unfortunately. Um, but then if you look in, I've got a convector, feet up, and then I've got stainless steel on top. I've actually got mine in an expander basket so I can lift the whole thing out, but that probably, you can see it better like that. Yeah. But it's feet up, stainless steel grid on the top. Um, so I'll pop that back in. I'll let that cool down. Did I just, oh no, it's just, I thought I'd just broken it in half. They smell amazing, yeah. those chocolate cakes. Um, I'm gonna undo that for a sec. Close the bottom door. Close the top, and we'll take these over to the table. Oh, they're going to be right gooey in the mm. middle. Put them on there. Oh, good oh, idea. Oh yeah, do you want some raspberry on the top? We just tidy up a tiny bit. Oh, one last thing to look at. We'll have a look at these, Andy. Mm -hmm. Get that out of the way. Don't think they're going to be ready. Oh, they're not far oh, off. Oh, yeah, they're nearly there. What you can do with this, if I, I just, I let them fall to the what bottom. What way do you want to? I'm just going to let them fall down a bit. That'll do. Turn it off, and what I can do is I can go in. Yeah, they're still a little bit hard in the middle, but I'm just using a thermopen to see how hard they are. Just a little bit hard, so those can carry on. Those are going to take a little bit longer. I made them a little bit smaller last time, so they cook faster. Should have chopped them up a bit more this morning. So, but we'll put a photo up of those, and we're going to dip those in that aioli as well. Be delicious. So, let's go to the plate. Oh, they are looking good. You'll make a sous chef yet, or a pastry chef? Oh, look! They are looking delightful, Lexi. 
think we're going to pick those up and put them right next to you so yeah. we can get a picture of you with your beautiful <laughs> look at those <laughs> i know somebody who's going to be very happy to eat those mm. so you have um salt and pepper squid really easy i like to just pick it up and dip it in the aioli I'm a happy man. <laughs> We've got uh, chicken drumsticks. Um, filthy hand now. Pick them up, but you can pick them up from the bone and gnaw them. I'm not going to do it yet because I'm going to tuck them to that first. But chicken lollipops, we call them because they've got a lollipop stick. Delicious. Uh, Lexi's chocolate dessert, borrowed from Bill Granger modified slightly so it's now our recipe that's how we do it isn't it <laughs> bill grain just doesn't have any raspberries or mint on so this is now our recipe um and we've got the sweet potato roasted um and it stopped raining so you got any questions is there any questions helena okay perfect so as usual you know um if you want to get in contact just give me a shout nick at meatsmokefire.co.uk um Things that are um, out of stock but can be ordered at the moment are mini maxes and large eggs. They've both gone out of stock this week. Um, they'll be in mid September, mid to late September. So if you want one, place the order now. You'll be ahead of the queue. So give me a shout. Um, cost of a large rotisserie like that one, uh, the just the pole, it's the pole and the motor and the wedge bit which is the rotisserie, but without the basket, is uh, from my website, £230. Uh, and then the basket I bought from Amazon, so you can get that. Um, but yeah, just give it a shout and I'll move into the light. How about that? Rather than standing under there. Um, pizza stones are still out of stock. Yeah, um, unfortunately, um, Big Green Egg uh, US, uh, the factory has just been inundated. They have taken on 200 going to come stand with me <laughs> they've taken on 200 new staff they're working 24 by 6 so 24 hours a day six days a week to try and clear backlog um, in lockdown everybody worldwide has been buying barbecues um, and all the bits and that's why they've been so um, everything's out of stock so as soon as it comes in we will have it but yeah just get hold of me and we can get you in the queue for those sorts of things um, I think that's about it so what time is it today? Bang on time, three minutes over. Perfect, well done on your first cooked pickle. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna enjoy eating it more, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, thanks for your patience. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. And obviously, um, send in what you'd like us to cook. So, you tell us what we're doing next week. I'll have to come up with the ideas otherwise. So. Uh, we might do, we'll see how this crispy pork skin flour works, see what we can come up, some like onion rings maybe. Um, but yeah, three things that are relatively quick. More veggie, okay? We can definitely do more veggie stuff, maybe with a rotisserie. We did a beautiful cauliflower, buffalo cauliflower flatbread the other day. That we could easily do in this and show you that. That was absolutely delicious. Uh, and I, I think I made the comment, I could give up meat for this. It, you know, it was that good. And I'm not a cauliflower fan, so um, so that web that is on the website already. But we may cook that. Obviously, if pickles around, it will involve chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and we got popcorn later. Oh, popcorn later. But you like salty popcorn, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. We might do some popcorn on the show next week. Who knows? Right. Thanks for that. We'll see you next week. Hopefully. Cheers. Bye. Bye.